Today is going to be a Halloween plus fall cozy foods for fall treats and snacks. So let's get started. One of the first things that I bought was coconut oil. Now this is year round, so this isn't specifically themed, but I love it. It's good for multi-purposes. So now we're getting into the more uh, beautiful falls and Halloween snacks and foods. Butternut squash is one of the favorites that my son loves. And so I pick it up. Now this is a three cheese pasta sauce. These are from Trader Joe's. Not everything's from Trader Joe's, by the way, but some of them are. Organic pumpkin. It is one of those staple items that I love to have during this time of year. And I picked up only two because I still have some. Now pumpkin pie spice. I missed that last time I was filming it. <laughs> so I had to pick it up this time. I only need one, I think anyway. Perfectly Pumpkin Pillsbury. This is from Dollar Tree, I believe. And, you know, guys, I had never tried this. So we'll see how it goes. And also this frosting. It seems to me it's like a creamy, maybe pumpkin. I'm not sure. Now, we always get the Halloween JoJo's cookies. They are delicious. Not only that, look at the box. Look at the cookies with the faces. How adorably cute is that? I loved it. I love the colors. You know, you could also cut these out from the box, the little design, and just use them for scrapbooking or what have you. They are just so pretty. You can also DIY items with them. Do you ever just take the time to sit and look at the beautiful packaging? Is that a kitty? Yeah, that was a kitty up there. How cute. And look at all these, a jack-o'-lantern. I loved it. So take some time and smell the coffee and the snacks and look at the boxes. This is a beautiful bread and muffin mix that we buy all the time as well. As well as these uh, boxes of tea. Look at the fox. How adorably cute. Now I did pick up two of them because this harvest blend tends to go and fly off the shelves. It is really delicious. I love it. And I'm not really like a big tea lover although I should be rather than coffee because I'm a big coffee lover but I do want to try more tea this year now this one I had never noticed the name Victor Allen's coffee it's pumpkin spice and I had been looking high and low for coffee and guys I found this one at $4.99 at Dee Dee's it's a great deal these are really really pricey even at big lots because they sell the bigger quantities so I only wanted smaller quantities Pumpkin body butter. This is this one. Oh my goodness. This one flies off the shelf the minute it hits the shelf. I could kick myself for not picking up more. I only picked up one. It's the first one that I'm ever going to try, but I'm sure it's going to be. I'm going to love it because it's very popular. Now, this I think is going to be very popular as well. This is a Mexican style hot cocoa melts and it's cinnamon flavor with chocolate. Uh, confectional milk chocolate all kinds of goodness and oh my goodness that is a party in my mouth let me tell you that's what I think I've never tried it before either but I've seen a lot of these little cocoa melts coming about so I'm going to give it a whirl and see how that works but they are so pretty as well in the shape of a pumpkin and the color is gorgeous Look at all these treats, guys. Oh, my goodness, my waistline. Anyways, so we also picked up some of these leaf chips, fall leaf corn tortilla chips. And, guys, I have been having these for a couple of years now, every fall, every Halloween. And it's one of the biggest uh, Trader Joe's chips that fly off the shelves as well. But I never knew that they also included beets in here. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to tell the hubby. He loves anything with beets, but it has pumpkin, carrots, carrots, and beets. How cool is that? I never knew that. You can make nachos with them. You know, I just eat them with sandwiches. If I eat a sandwich, I'll just have them on the side. And of course, we put them in this container because my kids already dug into them. So now, puppy time. Don't forget your, your fur babies because they have their own little hearts too. So I bought this. This was from the Dollar Tree though. Yeah, I'm too cheap to buy the whole ones from Trader Joe's for my puppies. But, you know, I've spent a lot of money lately, so I had to improvise. And guys, I want to try to do a little, uh, like, special treat board for my puppies. So we'll see if that happens. Chicken wrap sweet potato biscuits. How cute is that? It sounds delicious. 
Now, I also bought this one from the Dollar Tree, and I only bought this one because it's very colorful. Now, you do have to be careful because sometimes when you give new foods to your dogs, they could get sick. I know mine do, but we'll see how this goes. Now, these are the Greenies Original. This is the large, and I got this from Target. I get it from Target because it seems to be a little bit cheaper. It was $15 and change. And then look at these guys, $5.99 from, these are from Tuesday morning. Hocus Pocus, look at the white bone, the green with the hocus, or orange with the pocus. How cute in another bone. These are gourmet dog treats. I love them. When I saw them, I had to splurge on them. Apple cinnamon flavor dog treats. I'm sure they'll be fine with these. I'm not sure about the colorful ones from Dollar Tree. So I may just use it for added coloring for their board. If you guys want to see a chukuri board, chu kudri, get it? Or maybe I will call it a chu booteri board. I don't know. For chewing for doggies. We'll see. It's probably a lot of treats for doggies, but I did buy them the greenies so they can brush their teeth at least after all those treats. Now I did get some of these, a couple of these. One of the containers is already gone and we had three. So now we're down to one and a half. These go quick in my house because these are delicious, let me tell you. You could buy these at Marshall's Home Goods. They're everywhere. Now my mom sabotaged our diets too because she bought this humongous Paleta Payaso Clown Lollipops. I have to admit, my kids do not like clowns and she knows it. So I don't know what she's trying to do. She's trying to boo them. <laughs> she might have forgotten actually. But anyway, they're cute. And it was like an $8 box or something, she said. Now these are big choco, st choco sticks. $3.99 from Ross. Okay, that doesn't sound very good. Anyway, let's let's move on. So I got these coconut drops is what I call them. They're homemade style and they're coconut tips actually and they are so delicious and we are really getting into the hang of those and here's another leftover cookie i let my kids eat the ones that are not halloween colors and that's why i only have the color halloween colors left now look at this it was only a dollar 49 from ross white chocolate and raspberry popcorn bites they sound delicious indulgent white chocolate yeah so i bought a couple because they were on clearance and i've never really had them but they sound delicious and they're from joe something joseph's <laughs> the nurse in me was thinking joseph's but no it's not sepsis it's something about joseph Sep i can't even say it but in either case i'm sure they're going to be delicious chewy chocolate caramel covered chocolate it's risen or risen i can't say it i don't know i'm probably butchering it but it's 120 calories or something like that for a couple of pieces but you know i'm not going to worry about the calories during the holidays guys so it is what it is now these are christmasy but i wanted to share them now these are christmas sprinkles i don't recall where i got these from i'm so sorry it was either dollar tree or the 99 i'm sure of it because i don't really pay a lot for these and I also got the Halloween ones that I've already shared in another video. But um, I also got these moon pies from Dollar Tree. And I want to say the sprinkles were from the 99 actually. But the moon pies were from Dollar Tree. Pumpkin spice. I've never noticed these items. So I definitely want to try it. Now guys, I know I bought a lot. Caramel uh, Werther's Originals are very fancy, beautiful candies that you could buy for your decorating needs as well for the holiday tables but what i was going to say is that i know i bought a lot but what i'm going to do is i'm only going to keep probably half of it look i did get the pumpkin spice soft caramel uh, limited edition so i love these i hope i love these as much as i love the original ones because i do love those but i've never had these so I'm going to donate half of these away. So don't worry. I'm not going to, we're not going to eat them all. Now I did get three of these candy corn bags. I believe they might have been from, I want to say Dollar Tree maybe. And the Kit Kats, they are the white chocolate. We love these. These are the mini ones and they are delicious. Again, I cannot recall where I got them. Reese's mini cups. I want to say these are from Target. 
Yes, this is where I usually buy them from, I think. I'm not sure. I'm sorry, guys. Now, these sprinkles are from the 99 cent store, I believe. It's either everything's running in together, now running on together, guys. Sprinkle Halloween, and I love it. I even love the cupcake that's on the uh, tag there. It looks really, really delicious. And look at the cute little bats and the ghost. Yes, I take the time to peruse and just enjoy the packaging. I love the packaging. And look at these. This is a fluffy stuff. And I think they sell this year round. Fluffy stuff spider web cotton candy. This is a sour apple though for the ha Halloween season. But they have it year round. It's fat free, but it's artificially flavored. So all of these things are, I know, not good for you. But they're good for the soul. They're once a year. And for the remaining of the year, we just get rid of everything. So, you know, we're allowed to have a little bit of treats here and there. Halloween wafer cobwebs. How cool are these? I did not even know these existed, guys. I want to say these are from Target. I can't recall. But I'm going to give them a whirl and see how they work out. I think they go on top of like of uh, frosting or something like that. So there are the directions if you guys want to pause and kind of see, you know, how to use them. But I thought they were interesting, so I'm going to give them a whirl. Then these are the Halloween eyeball sprinkles. How cool are these? You could put these in muffins or cupcakes or even make a cake and make a spooky cake or something. And then these are the regular Peeps Ghost. These are all from the 99 cent store. I love that they had all the colors this year. I don't even remember using them from there last year. I think I bought them somewhere else. But I wanted to buy just a few, not a lot. These are the Monsters Frankies and always the um, the Halloween uh, orange color. We always get those. And then this is the Campfire Ghoster Roasters. <laughs> How cute is this? I love it. Again, I think I got these from either Food for Less or I want to say Target. Roast a Ghost. I can't recall. I'm sorry, guys. I have some of these items that I've had for like uh, probably a week already. And I just don't know. I, I got confused. There's so much I have. And then these, I'm sure they're from the 99 cent store. These are the Halloween Pops. And I love them the minute I saw them because they are just so cutesy cutesy. They're six to a pack, which I thought was a great deal. And they have the three hats, the witches hats. And the three little ghosts, which I almost feel like I should have picked up more. I want these because I, I'm thinking I'm going to put them inside my mugs. Or I'm just going to give them out as treats to my kids. And look at these. These are bigger marshmallow Halloween pops. And they are humongous. Let me tell you. Do not let your kids eat the whole thing. It is a lot of sugar. But, you know, I thought they would be fun and whimsy to decorate the table with. And maybe just, you know, hand them out somewhere. Or give them away you know, donate if you're taking these somewhere, but they are so, so pretty, so fun and whimsy. I love it. After all that candy, you must wash your hands from all that gooey stuff. So here's a chai latte hand sanitizer from the 99 cent store for $1.49. How cute are these? I love that they have the cute little display of the, um, chai latte there but also i love the little hanging plastic part here because you could hang these from your purse or what have you or backpacks these are great for little ones pumpkin spice how adorable and i love the colors on the bottles as well good job to the 99 for getting these out i'm thinking they're going to fly off the shelves if they haven't already now this is some harvest pasta it is amazing looking and i just love it even the picture looks beautiful so beautiful you guys know i love it when i sing and look at the detail on this pasta ready for fall halloween and guys can you believe that it was very inexpensive 3.99 for ross from ross i gotta hand it to ross they did a great job with this pasta it is humongous and it beats the prices of home goods and other stores now look at this one. This is a oh silliness silliness by nature. This is chocolate pumpkin hot chocolate. 
I didn't even notice it was pumpkin. I just picked it up because, yeah, chocolate pumpkin spice. Because my kids love hot chocolate. And this is the time that I get it. But I'm not sure how they're going to do with the pumpkin spice. I know I would probably love it. It's the first time we're going to try it. So I'll come back later on and I'll give you guys a little review on some of these brand new items to us. Because there's a lot in here we have not tried. I also got some of the syrups and I'm going to give those a whirl and see how those work out. And look at this beautiful bag. This comes from World Market. It's a gorgeous bag. I'm going to give it to my mom because she's an elephant lover. And guess what I have in here? I had been seeing this beautiful, beautiful, so beautiful mini pumpkin, mini waffle maker. And it's in the design of a pumpkin. So it does give you pumpkin shaped pancakes or waffles. And how cute is it? Oh my goodness. You know, this flew off the shelf the minute it came out. I couldn't find it anymore. So one day I was at World Market and I found it and I was so pleasantly surprised. Since then though, I've seen it yesterday. It came out again. They brought out some more. So I'm hoping that you, if you guys are looking for one that you'll give it a try. It is a mini one, so that's what I love. And you know, I'm thinking my kids, I'm gonna let them do that. And this is a great thing you could do with your kids. It has beautiful pictures and recipes. And those are the directions. Even the directions are packed so nicely. And I love the green little button. You can't really capture it on video much. But it is a green button in there in the middle. And uh, it says three tablespoons of batter for perfect pumpkins. How gorgeous is this? I love it. I'm not into baking, but now I'm getting very motivated. <laughs> I am into baking a lot. I love it. It's just it's hectic and I'm not able to do a lot right now but anyway so I think it was just gorgeous so now we're moving back to Trader Joe's I picked up these that are going to be flying off the shelves as well pumpkin spice batons how cute are these I love them I love the regular ones I haven't tried these but I'm going to try them and I'm sure I'm going to love them because I love everything from Trader Joe's 120 calories okay let's not look at that <laughs> I just realized I kind of just glanced over these coffee syrups, but here they are, guys, in all its glory. So they have the pumpkin cheesecake, the pumpkin caramel, and it has all these beautiful pictures. Oh my goodness, I love it. They're from the skinny syrups. I don't really know how good they are for you or not, but they do have beautiful pictures. I love the tags. And I apparently pay for pretty. <laughs> and the third syrup I didn't mention was the pumpkin spice. Of course, it is a classic. But I'm sure I'm going to love them because I love everything that's sweet. I do have a sweet tooth, as you could tell. <laughs> as you could tell by now. But from all this goodness, I love that these aren't gigantic bottles because, you know, I like to... Zero calories and, su and sugar. Oh, that's good. I like to keep it down with the minis and the shorter bottles. And then I got these beautiful and delicious chocolate, white chocolate. And this is the Meltables is what they're called. And they're so fancy in their packaging as well. But I got these from Michael's guys and they had like a sale. I forgot how much they were, but typically I think they're like five something. They could be more. Don't quote me on that. But I think they were like three something or four dollars. But I did get the, the white, the yellow, and then now the pumpkin. Because I wanted to create kind of like a candy corn vibe going on. And so, you know, the price was right. And you can always freeze these. I always freeze them. And they'll last you forever. Now, these, well, not in my house, they won't. <laughs> these are the, um, what does it say? Eat it. Go ahead. Eat it. Hocus Pocus Mix. Now, this is adorable. I loved it. $9.99, a bit pricey for my taste. Unintended, my taste, get it? <laughs> Cheesy, I know. Now, I wanted to get this because it has all the perfect colors that goes with the Ray Dunn colors for Halloween, and that's why I loved it. The minute I saw it, I knew I had to have it at Home Goods. And guys, if you are looking for something more affordable and you love the candy corn look, Look at this gorgeousity. It's so beautiful and probably delicious. 
Look at this, guys. This is a fraction of the cost from Ross, $4.99. So that is half of the cost from the one from Home Goods. But I love both because I need both. I want to decorate with them. And I thought they were just so beautiful looking. And, you know, I love decorating my table with the same color of foods as my decor, if that makes sense. Do you guys do that as well? If you do, let me know down below. But this is what I have, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed. It is a lot, I know. But as I said, I'm going to be donating half of this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to live well, healthy, happy, and organized. Many blessings. And stay tuned for many more videos coming up. Thanks for watching, you guys.